Aggregate provides a simple web interface for basic data visualization. You can view your data in a bar graph, pie chart, or on a map. This visualized functionality is meant to provide a quick means to view early data results in meaningful ways, but is not meant to provide complex data analysis functionality. To visualize filtered data, click on the Visualize button. This will cause the pop-up to appear. Note, only the data currently visible in the Filter Submission tab will be used in the visualization. In this example, we will begin by looking at some locations on a map. The first drop-down in the pop-up specifies the type of visualization you want to perform. Currently, Aggregate supports viewing data as a pie chart, bar graph, or as a map. Since we are interested in viewing locations on a map, we select Map. Once the type is selected, the second drop-down list changes to display the appropriate data columns that can be used to produce the visualization. In the map case, Aggregate populates GeoPoint to Map with only columns that contain GPS coordinates. Once a column is selected, simply click Map it to generate the graph. The result is a map that you can zoom and drag to look at the points of interest. In addition, you can click on a point to view a balloon with the other information supplied in the submission. The procedure to produce bar graphs and pie charts is similar, but the column choices are different. Aggregate produces two basic calculation methods for both bar and pie charts. The first method is to count the number of times a unique answer value occurs in the specified column. This is useful, for example, to calculate how many people answered that their favorite color was red, or determine the percentage of answers that were yes and what percentage were no. Using the example form, we will query how many times a device has been entered into the system by selecting the device ID column. Since we are just asking how many times a value occurs, we select the count option. Notice that the count option text automatically updates based off the column value that is selected. To graph the data, click, simply click on bar it. The second method sums the values in one column grouped together by values in another column. The sum function is used for questions like how many potholes are in each city. For example, if you wanted to calculate how many deer spottings occurred at each location, you would want to select count. To make things clearer, aggregate updates a text statement at the end of the count option. Notice that the text automatically updates based off the column selections. In this example, the text says how many location number per device ID.